Hello everyone, my name is Sanjeev Yajnik. I am the chairman of the Collin County Business Alliance. And so what we would like to do is to encourage and inspire a pipeline of diverse candidates to run for public office. And so what I'd like to do is to, for us to pick the brain of two of our amazing leaders that we have had in Collin County, Mayor Harry and Mayor Maso. Mayor Harry is currently completing his second and final term this year as Mayor of Plano. And Mayor Maso has a pri previously completed three terms as the Mayor of Frisco. So welcome, Mayor Harry, Mayor Maso. Thank you for joining me. What inspired you to run for and then finally serve as a mayor? Being mayor for me, uh, uh, quite candidly, was a calling. I, I decided I was going to be mayor of a, someday. It was 1993, 90, 1992, I'm sorry, 1992. I was living in New York. There was an incident in Crown Heights where a, a young, uh, an African, uh, West Indian boy got hit by a car by a Jewish man during a funeral procession in Crown Heights created a major racial strife in the city. And D David Dinkins, who was the mayor of New York at the time, first black mayor of the city, um, was the mayor. And I remember my perception at the time was he, he, uh, he it was his opportunity to be great and unify the city. And I felt that he, he, let, he let us down. That, and it's funny looking back, being in the seat now, I know I understand the possible challenges and constraints he had to maybe get to that place. But nonetheless, that was my calling. I decided at that point I was going to be mayor someday. I, I felt that being mayor, to be the mayor is to be the soul of a city and to, it's to be a unifier and to bring a city into, together to, for everyone to feel that they were in their best, the best place possible. Uh, what I've come to learn is that a mayor is not the soul of the city and the mayor is a reflection of the soul of a city and your job our job is really to bring out what's there already and bring it to light and and be a reflection a a, a vehicle to shine the light the, of the people the companies um that are here and so that was that was my path and so i i just knew that i was just going to keep my head down and do the things that were natural and genuine to me and it would take me to my place and then i eventually became Mayor in, in 2013. What an amazing story. What about you, Mayor Maso? Yeah, well, it, my mind is a little different. I really never had the goal to be an elected official. Um, but what I did learn uh, throughout my journey was that I so enjoyed volunteering uh, and impacting lives and, and learning. I, I really, part of it was the quest for lifelong education for me. Uh, when I was 20, I was attending college, and then I received a cancer diagnosis, you know, out of the blue, I'm young, I played football, I played soccer, I'm active, never really go to the doctor. Next week, I'm in a hospital bed. And I never really understood that. I never really understood uh, the impact and the things that people go through. Uh, to me, before that, it was all fun and games. Um, you know, it, it was, there was no pressures, did what I wanted to do, and life was just a big party. And then ending up in the hospital, hearing people crying, seeing the suffering that was around me, um, you know, changed my life. It changed the trajectory. And, and I can look back now and say it's probably the best thing that ever happened to me because it, it brought new awareness to the human condition and the impact you make to other lives. So uh, my, my route to elected office really came through volunteering uh, for nonprofits and education. And as people learn to uh, trust you and rely on you and you learn from them uh, the route just it was kind of took a life of its own never really had a goal to be an elected official uh, never really had a goal to be a mayor uh, but it just worked that way just by giving back to the community so the, the journey was never attended um, but I'm glad it happened and I'm a better person for it. People who are listening may think yeah but you know Mayor Harry must have prepared himself, studied something. Mayor Maso must have like have a certain background to do this. What are the qualifications you think people need to be able to be an effective mayor? 
really there's the legal qualifications, living the residency requirements and voter requirements. But uh, other than that, the, the requirements are that you get 50% of the vote plus one. <laughs> and so, and, and that's, a, uh, that's a fundamental strength of running for office and a fundamental weakness. I really believe in that the, the voters are, are very smart. They, they know right from wrong. They know what a, a, a good what makes a good person. So the only requirement you really need is to be engaged in the community, understand the community, and earn the community's trust. I think the most important component, though, to be an effective policymaker is your decision-making process. And I, I, I break it down to what I call the three I's. So when I'm when I'm going to to decide on an issue, I look at it from three things. First is intent. What's my intention? Intent, the outcome that I want to have. What is it am I trying to accomplish? Intent, information. I want to be fully knowledgeable on the on the topic. So I may have a personal or emotional uh, inclination to vote one way or the other, but it's important I get the information. So intent, information, and the third one is integrity. My integrity has to be in place that I'm doing it because when I get home and I look at myself in the mirror, I can say. I did this because I thought this was the best thing to do. So in order to be an effective mayor, I think you have to have a very a systematic and defined process for your decision making so that you can get to the, the place that uh, that's ultimately gets decisions that are best for your community as a whole. What did you get out of being in this wonderful position? It is easily the most fulfilling endeavor I've ever engaged in. And the, the simple way I can say it is the, the, the lives that we touch. And I know whether I do nothing else on council, it's really to me, being mayor is not about legislation. It's not about um, you know smaller government taxes and regulations and ordinance. It, it's about touching people's lives. It's about, about making a difference in the day-to-day -day life of, 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 of our citizens. And so I always, the, the one campaign promise I made that I can firmly say I held up to is that every day I woke up with the, uh, with the intention of making Plano a little bit better than it was the day before. I didn't, I didn't succeed every day, but that was my goal. And, and, and there was nothing more fulfilling to me than to know that I, make, I made a positive difference in the lives of of, of our citizens, and especially in my case, the youth, that, that, that's near and dear to me. And on top of that, you know, being a mayor or being a council member, that's just one step in a journey. Uh, it is not about achieving something. It's about who you want to be as a person. Not everybody can be mayor or be successful at winning an election and becoming a mayor, but everybody can give back. And the number of volunteers we have met that give as much, if not more sometimes than us in our roles as mayor back to the community, they're not asking for recognition. They're not gonna be in front of the camera like we are. They're not going to be on stage giving this speech, but they're doing things just as, if not more important than we were and it's helping others. How, if, if, if someone decides that they want to run, let's say for mayor, it could be any elected uh, position, but let's say for mayor, what is the advice you give them? What are the steps they need to take? What are the practical things that they need to do to be able to mount a successful, you know, a, a successful run for that position? I, I think first and foremost, um, talk to your family. Uh, they're in this with you. I talk to your friends. Uh, they'll be supporting you. Uh, have an open mind. Again, just as if you're successfully. Uh, successful in being the mayor, you want to start using that mindset and, and, and the thought of listening to others. And then ask yourself honestly, why are you doing it? Um, is this something you, you want to change? Is it about making the community better? Or is this a stepping stone for future political office? Because Harry and I will tell you, we see this a lot, is they're not really interested in helping the community, they're interested in going on. But if you're sincere about really making an impact, um, Start learning about the needs of your community. Every city in Texas is different. Every community is different. Uh, hopefully, as you're considering this, you've already volunteered some with the school district, with the local charities and nonprofits, uh, with, with the, the Rotary Clubs. 
and you have learned what the community is looking for. Uh, so if you haven't, that's what I would say is first step is start getting involved. And, and, and don't do it just to get these brownie points to run for office. Do it to learn about the community and do it with something you're passionate about. You got to be able to answer the question, why? What's your why? Because everyone's going to ask you why you want to be mayor. And if you stumble and you don't have a genuine answer from your heart, you're, you're dead in the water. It has to be real. It has to be raw as to you want to be mayor for some reason. So when someone asks me why I want to be mayor, I want to be mayor because I want to make a positive difference in my community. That was it. And understand that, like Mayor Masa said, it takes money. It takes time. You have to get the full buy-in from your family, from your uh, from your employer. If you're employed, if you're not if you're not self-employed and you have an employer, you're they going to have to understand uh, the the time commitment. And then once you once you get into that seat, you you then you then move forward in, in a manner that is reflective of your why. Everything you do has to come back to why did you run for. For city council mayor or, or that elected position. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Maso. Thank you, um, Mayor Harry. Uh, just some really uh, interesting words and also a lot of uh, wisdom in what you've shared with the, with the listeners. Now, Collin County Business Alliance helps. We've got on our website, we've got something called Collin County Votes. It has a resource center. So thank you all, and uh, we look forward to seeing you out there.